Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, I feel like I've got an absolute ton to unpack this week. I've got new champions on my main account, so I'm going to be doing new videos about my fastest ever dungeon teams. Uh, stay tuned for that. I've also got my second ever plus four champion in Elder Scarred. I'm going to be building an absolutely absurd clan boss team with him. Um, but for this video, Raid had just dropped some news in game. It's basically a summon party. Can you believe it? A summon party and more. So there's actually a couple of snippets here, which it sounds like hard dungeons are coming really fast. Maybe next week, I think. But uh, yeah, it basically says here, hard dungeons are coming. Uh, to prepare you for this challenge, we've got some exciting days of summon boosts. Thank you for that preparation raid. Uh, where's the shards to go along with it? We're giving you a chance to get some of those champions you need. And then basically they've got times 10 chances for one day only or even a few hours only actually. If you look at what's going on here today, this is like, there's no forewarning to this and we've only got 11 hours before Atrizia's in and out. Atrizia might have even been one of the biggest ticket items for this whole event and they've thrown her on first. But basically you've got Atrizia is today from Voids. You've then got Knocked the Paralyzer from Ancient and Sacreds. Uh, tomorrow or is that no is that later on today that's later on today i think no maybe tomorrow yeah from tomorrow sorry you've then got um tumisia from voids late end tomorrow you've got kaima on wednesday shiramani as a freeze champion this is interesting i'll go through a couple of kits in a minute as a freeze champion on wednesday hefrak as a nuka thursday tyrant uh thursday as well and then foley a bit of an odd one actually foley on uh, late friday is that or early friday anyway just keep your eye out the champion that you want to go for keep your eye out on that i mean basically they've all just got a times 10 event running i'm not going to go into all that detail we know how time tens work the summoning rates are not any better the chances we get them are extremely low and um and i'm not salty about harima at the weekend so, but what's quite interesting here, it says from February 27th to March 2nd. So from today until March 2nd, we'll be launching special packs containing items that will help you in hard mode dungeons. Keep your eyes peeled. Now, I, I guess the cynic in me here says they're probably going to be dropping energy packs. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably what it is. Like... What could the items be other than energy to help you with hard doom? Like, they're not going to be dropping you. An, like, an, I, I just can't see it. In, in other games, you might be like, oh, they're dropping an item that, I don't know, makes all of your team hit 25% harder for a week. Do you know what I mean? Like, almost like a special item. I don't think Raid would be thinking like that. I think it's just going to be even more energy or gems to buy energy, or more shards to buy these packs, yeah, to try and pick, pull these champions. I think that's what it's going to be. Uh, but anyway, let's get in and have a look at these. So Acrisia is 100% a game changer for any account. Yeah, she's a Void champion. Voids on times 10s are still kind of still worth a look at. Non-Voids on times 10, I feel like, I mean, I pulled over the weekend. You're going to see probably later on today my second go at trying to get harima yeah i pulled a lot of legendaries over this weekend i actually burnt more shards than i think i've ever burnt in a weekend because i really wanted to get Har harima when she was doubled up on this times two ancients and uh, as a times 10 and you would not believe how many legendaries i pulled and did not get harima and obviously that's just my experience and poor rng and all that sort of stuff yes 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 but it still is it's dire. Anyway, Acrisia, she's all enemy max HP. She's an absolute crazy champion. Out of the other ones we've called out there, really, I mean, I don't feel like they're all kind of nuts times tens. I think Kaima still is a godlike champion. His reset ability on his A3 is still absolutely brilliant. And uh, his ability to kind of clean all buffs off of enemies and sleep them is also brilliant. So yeah, Kaimar might be one that people should be interested in. Hefrak, 
Still up there as a god tier Nuka in Arena. Uh, also hits really hard against waves. I don't know if he might get some sort of look in against a new hard spider dungeon, potentially. Not sure, really. But um, he does hit harder than basically anyone else in the game. Saying that, to get his extra hit, he has to do over half the health of the enemy. I think he probably would do that on hard uh, spider. So I think that, that has got a chance. The rest of them, though, I'm not sure that I would be that fussed. Knocked. Tumisia, maybe, actually. Tumisia. And uh, actually, I want to have a look at Shiromani quick. So Tumisia is fantastic. You know, AoE uh, stun ability. AoE HP burn. Big hit on the A3. She is actually a really, really good champion. Is she going to completely change your hard dungeon mode? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think what she does, she does very well for the normal dungeon mode. I think actually burning all the spiderlings might not be the way to go. Hard to know until we get to, into the content, but it doesn't feel like it's a way to go. Although they do talk about burns being good elsewhere. So maybe, maybe she's still in the mix. But um, yeah, Tumisia is a great champion. She's got an absolute cannon of an A3. And I use mine in Spider right now, Spider 25. I also use mine in Hydra. Uh, but Shiromani is the one that could be quite interesting. Is she high elf? Yeah. So we've obviously got this ability now to freeze. She's actually got a, a triple hit. 25% chance of placing a freeze each. I think it's each hit. I think it's each hit. And for... Fire Knight, it seems like freezes are going to be the only way to drop turn meter. So Shiromani might have had a bit of a value surge. Uh, and I'll call out someone else just while we're talking about it. Because all of a sudden, Gory may also have had a bit of a value surge. Triple hit. Eat, this one definitely says it. Each hit books to 100% chance of placing a freeze. So Gory for Fire Knight might end up being the new allure for the hard mode. Just as a, a bit of a shout out. but. Yeah, I don't know, guys, what's coming, who knows, this week. But it feels like they're gearing up for next patch is going to be hard mode dungeons. Um, I guess let me know what you think. Anyway, I've been Hell Hades. I'll see you later.